There we go. Welcome back, everybody. How are you doing today? And today we are going not for Latias as usual, or well, Groudon. Today we're actually going for our random shiny hunt. Once again, we're going for our random hunt. Uh, what is... Yeah, we'll go, we'll go solo for the first one. Lycanroc. Provided we don't get a steel type, I think Lycanroc's generally pretty decent for well, that or a ground type. Lycanroc's pretty decent. Alright, let's get going. But how is everybody doing today? Hello there, cat. How are you doing? Ah, uh, close that up. Okay, electric. I don't hit my odds. Um, that's gonna be thunderous. Tor that's gonna be. Uh, that's gonna be thunderous. Zakram, Zapdos, Zerkatry. I don't think it's gonna be Zerkatry though. Yeah, and well, actually, you know, there's a there's a ground type over there. All right. Um. Yeah, we go. We we'll go. Yeah, they're not not terrible options. Yeah, I guess maybe, well. Hmm. The electric types, what are there? So there's Thunderous, Zapdos, Raikou, Zekrom, and Zerkatry and Tapu Koko. Okay. I think in that case, maybe it is best if I switch out for... For the Palpitoad, because then there's basically nothing to do with Grass Electric. I I think it's, it was the reason Zerkatry is not Grass Electric is because if it was Grass Electric, it would be broken. You know, gra Grass Electric as a typing, we kind of don't realize how absolutely insane that is, only because the only two members of that typing combination are Electrode and Motom, who have very limited options for their coverage. Or, you know, it's it's Electrode, which has just absolutely no stats and anything other than speed. You know, you give something like Zerkatry access to Grass Stab, and then you're, you're only weak at that point to Ice, Poison, Bug, and Fire. Yeah, Ice, Poison, Bug, and Fire. And you give it to basically that amount of just special damage to just nuke literally everything, you're not really doing too well. Yeah! Hello, Andreas. Go on the mods. Go grab Andreas' link, please. Uh, but yeah, no, Electrode is kind of the shorthand a lot of people refer to uh, uh, Hisuian Electrode as. Whenever it comes to Hisuian forms, well, regional variants in general, the shorthand used by competitive players is generally first letter of the Pokemon's name is chopped off and replaced with the first letter of the region. Unless it's Alola, where, you know, that that's a bit different, where they just basically just tack the A in front of anything else. You know, A Persian, A Chu, it's, it's a bit of its own separate weird thing. You know, yeah, there's Electrode, Hilligan, Harkonine... Sneasel's kind of the only one where they don't because like, it evolves into Sneasler. You know, which, which you, you never really talk about base Hisuian Sneasel and base Jetonian Sneasel. You know, like a Galarian Slow King is called Glow King. Galarian Slow Bro is called Glow Bro. I freaking love it. It's just, you know, uh, Galarian Articuno is called Gardacuno, Goltrays, Gapdos. I freaking love it. It's just it's silly. But yeah, no, it, it is the... the, the not like a official shorthand, but it's the shorthand a lot of players use. Because it just it's it works nice and simply. I'm actually gonna switch out for the uh Moongus, because I don't want any of the bots taking it. And I'm gonna be taking that. Pop it. If they made that type, it would probably be less special attack. Possibly, but the thing is. What else would you put Zerkatry stats into? Because the whole point of the Ultra Beasts is their stats are absolutely min-maxed into insanity. That That's kind of the whole point of them. Is again, they, they are literally the definition of min-maxing. Harka 9, exactly. Again, I, I do enjoy competitive Pokemon stuff and things for that reason. Don't age. Again, for once, I don't have to ever miss Stone Edge, because it, uh, it is freaking no guard. Probably a little. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, 
Zerkatry as it is, is a relatively impractical Pokemon. Because its bulk is in a weird place where it's like okay-ish to take a hit, but it's not high enough to actually take hits. You increase its bulk by a little bit, it then suddenly becomes able to much more effectively take hits. You know, it, it's kind of like this weird in-between area where it's, it's not, where they didn't give it enough speed to be a super glass cannon at the detriment of its defenses, but they didn't give it enough bulk to not be like a super speedy glass cannon. It's very, very strange. That's one of the reasons why a lot of people run Z-Hypnosis Zerkatry, so you could get a speed boost with Z-Speed Boost. And even that later... It is one of the few Pokemon that actually did semi-seriously run Blunder Policy, because it either you got to sleep with Hypnosis, or you missed Hypnosis and got a speed boost anyway. You know, it, it it's a bit of an interesting... Hello there, Cat. How you doing? Again, it, it's kind of a funny thing in just Zerkatry as a, as a thing. I don't miss it. I mean, I do kind of miss the Ultra Beasts, but I don't miss all of them. I don't miss Leech Seed, Celesteel on literally everything. That thing gives me nightmares. Well, gave me nightmares. There we go. I am going to be taking Moongus. Okay, no one's going to take Moongus. All right. But, you know, we're going to open up the Dynamax Adventures to the viewers after this. So that way, you guys would Yeah, probably would have been better to go for the... Well, no, 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 I, I would have gone straight up for this one, because at least with this one, it... it you, none of them can really do any damage to Palpitoad. I hope I get a shiny as well. He loves people to look at me. I do as well. I love it. I, I love the Ultra Beasts. I get why most people don't like them, because, like, again, they're really, really, really good. You know, that's kind of the one thing the Ultra Beasts were designed for was absolute min-maxing. But, again, they're not bad. They, they were good, but not so good. Love that Giga Drain damage. And that, see, the thing is good drains, it, it heals them. They, they just, they recover all the HP. Yeah, but that's a real Giga Drain right there. Well, then again, I'm... Well, no, I mean, we still probably do a little bit more damage with our Giga Drain, because even though we have lower special attack, we have stab. We kind of balance it out. I'll catch a Palpatode. Do need a shiny Palpatode. But yeah, no, it's going pretty good, and, uh, how is everybody doing today? If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe for more, and leave a like on the stream. Hello there, Dark Dust... Keika? I do not know how to pronounce that name. I struggle with words. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't want to bother taking that. That's a good thing. I hope... Even if they aren't the best, strongest, or best of them. Yeah. Which, again, that's the, the ideal way I say Pokemon is. You know, we, we all like what we like, not because they're good, not because they're trying too hard to be cool, but just because, like, we just think they're neat. Like, I, that's that's the ideal. That's one of the I like how as a rival so much is he's just a guy who enjoys battling because he just finds it fun. Okay, good. Switching out for right. Switching out for Palpatine was the right call. Because uh, Raikou definitely would have done a little bit of damage to that. Yeah, good thing about Raikou. It is... It, it, it is basically a joke if you have a ground type. Because its only moves are, like, Howl Extreme Speed, Weather Ball, Spark, and, like, Thunderbolt. So... If you have a ground type, it should not even be able to touch you. Especially if you have a ground rock type like that right uh, like that ride on, or if you have the rock ghost uh, the ground ghost type that is uh Golurk. Because the only way rain could get set up is if you have either a polytoad or you have a pelipper. Which there is no way you should be bringing that into this unless it's an AI bot bringing it. Yes, also Palosand. Also Palosand. Meanwhile, I got 10 Cartana chilling in my sword. Nice. Yeah, I did, I did briefly forget Palosand. 
But yeah, no, just if you bring a ground type period to a fight against Raikou, it can't do any damage to you. Well, I mean, obviously it can damage you with like Extreme Peter Weather Ball. But unless it's using how the juice itself up, it can't really damage you. Palisand is pretty much invincible. Yeah, Palisand is basically invincible without weather. Yeah, Palisand is, is, in, is entirely invincible. Because Raikou does learn the move Scald uh, Natural. Like, Raikou learns Scald by TM. But if I recall, it does not have Scald in Dynamax Adventures. Which is a mercy for us. Because what that means for us is it can't use Max Geyser. Because if it could use Max Geyser on its own, then you'd kind of be screwed. But because it can't do that, it's like, no, you just lose. And again, it's just incredibly easy. Despite being one of, like, the most infuriating legendaries for me to fight personally, because, one, it's ridiculously fast as Bolt Switch, and it has Scald and Calm Mind, so you can do Scarf, you can do Specs, you can do, you know, bulky sub -com Mind with Leftovers. But without that in Dynamax Adventures, it's kind of a non-issue. Well, not, 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 not a non-issue, but, like, it's... It's nowhere near the same threat level as it is competitively in, in Dynamax Adventure, which I just find fun. You know, Pal Palosand and... Uh, not Palosand and... Golark. I blanked on the name for a second. All right, let's check our shinies. Let's see if we got one. No Aselgore, no Amoongus, no Palpatode. I really need that shiny at some point. All right, I'm kind of glad I didn't actually get the shiny Raikou because I still need to get some footage for you. I'm fine without taking it. I will replace my Pheromosa pathing with a Raikou because I do kind of need a Raikou pathing for some upcoming stuff. No Kyrem. I'm only switching anything out if I get a Tornadus. I am... So, basically, today we are doing random shiny hunting. The only way we switch to, like, a, a static pathing is if I get a Tornadus. I want Tornadus. But we are now doing... Dynamax Adventure Open Lobbies with Viewers. Link code is 192837468. If you would like to join, feel free to join. Also, I completely messed up that entire number entering. Zygarde. Yeah, Zygarde is the hardest Dynamax Adventure of all. Thankfully, a few weeks ago, we did a video. Well, technically two videos. Well, one is just a bit of a redone version of the other. On the best counters for Zygarde. And I was, hello there. Mr. 89, hello. Yeah, we did a video a few weeks ago on the best Pokemon to use to beat Zygarde. Surprisingly, the first one is not, the, the top two are actually not ice types. You actually want to use a fairy type for those two. No. That is Godzilla Final Wars. I do have... Ah, uh, so you've already caught the Zygarde then? Hello there, Jacob. How do you do? Well, you, you, you've already caught Zygarde in, in your Dynamax adventure for the game? Because if you already caught it, then you can't catch it again. I'm doing well. I'm doing very well. Yeah, yeah you're, you're not able to shiny hunt for it then if you've already caught it. That's kind of the thing about Dynamax Adventures is if you've caught the thing, you can never... You can still rematch it. You just can't catch it again. Did I, did I connect to the internet or not? Okay, yes, I did. All right. Let's go try again. Favorite game besides Pokemon? Ooh, good question. Probably Kirby. Probably Kirby. Got Chinese Icon and Pokemon uh, did you get the event shiny Zygarde? Because you can't shiny hunt for Zygarde in, uh, Moon Ultra Moon. I have not ever played Zygarde. I have not ever played Dark Souls. Oh, okay, that one, yeah, that, that was one. Yeah, because you can't shiny hunt for that. You need to have gotten the event one. Yeah, Zygarde is... Yeah, th th there are... Let's see, there's three... There are eight Pokemon I only recommend hunting in uh, in Dynamax. There's only eight of them, and those are eight Pokemon you can exclusively get by Dynamax Adventure Shiny Hunting. Yeah, three years. 
Uh, what is the best weather for Gengar? Hmm. Good question. Best weather for Gengar? I'd say probably rain. Um, either rain or sun. The reason I say that is the weather Gengar struggles with the most is sand. Because of Tyranitar. And you want rain, which would deal well with, with Tyranitar. And potentially sun because you have a lot more grass types that are actually grass and fire types which could do well against that. Uh, let me go check a Gengar's learn set real quick. But yeah, we do a lot of competitive Pokemon on this channel. We're actually in a second draft league at the moment where amusingly we are actually running a sand team with Tyranitar. Because one, I love Godzilla, and uh, I, I do enjoy using Sand Tyranitar Excadrill. It is an entire Godzilla-themed draft league team. Is it gonna work? I have no clue, but we're gonna, we're gonna try and make it work. Uh, I have already faced down my most hated Pokemon to fight in draft league, which is Gouging Fire with that team. Uh, it, for those who know, I have a very particular vendetta with Gouging Fire. Um, you said you were trying to join the DA. Remember, make sure you're connected to the internet to, to join a Dynamax adventure. Uh, Gengar's moves set. Yeah, mostly just ghost moves. Uh, let's, get, let's go check what Gengar's... Now, is this for a doubles or singles team for the best weather for Gengar? Because I would say that would somewhat shift which one. Yeah, just ignore all the uh, the physical moves because it doesn't really run physical. Well, it actually doesn't run physical at all. You have Thunderbolt. Probably Rain if... I'd say possibly Rain because it does get access to the move Thunder, which, you know, is perfectly accurate in Rain. Yeah, it does not get Weather Ball, unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't get Solar Beam. So yeah, I'd, I'd say most likely the best weather for Gengar would be Rain... Purely because it does get access to Thunder. Okay. Um, I don't think anyone else is going to be popping in, so let's just go solo. We don't quit. Um, so it, when, when you said you were trying to join the thing, did you put in the link code and you then clicked uh, invite anyone? No, not Raiko. Try this again, sorry, we're a little bit of a mistake. Anything's fine. But yeah, no, uh... Yeah, also, rain would help it not be preyed on as easily by ground moves, because of the dealing with ground moves. Book one sword of dead online. No, there's actually surprisingly a lot of people that are doing Dynamax Adventures still. Because it's the only way to get shiny legendaries. Because you can't get them in Skull of Isla. Okay, thanks, Cookie. Now, we've actually generally had a lot of people popping in for Dynamax Adventures. It's just, towards the start, things are a little bit awkward. But, you know, there's generally a couple of people online for things. I just need to find freaking Tornadus. Yeah, no, Raikou is going to be a very easy one if we can go keep doing that. If we get Tornadus, we just hardline Tornadus. Oh, uh, Johnny Rizzo. Okay, um, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And again, don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't done so already. Yeah, today's doing pretty good. Do, do, do. But now, for how it could be in the MonsterVerse. Yeah. So, um, I've kind of been working on a couple of other projects in the background for... Okay, that's fine. Um, I can, I can do another solo DA. 
I, I can do another solo DA while you guys basically situate everything. Yeah, hopefully I can get a Tornadus. Hopefully I can pick up a Tornadus. Ooh, Crawdaunt. There are few Pokemon that if they pop up immediately in this thing, I go for. One of them is Crawdaunt, one of them is Diggersby. No one's honestly, uh, oddly Basculin. And actually, funnily enough, there's a Basculin right there. Ooh, Steel. Okay, Steel. That is Solgaleo, Heatran, Cart, Steela, or Dialga. Overall, I think maybe, yeah, just best we go for the Lantern. Because, like, if... If it's cart, we don't really have anything good for cart anyway. We just basically insta lose. But at the same time, it's cart. You you blow on it with a special attack and it goes down. Yeah, that's kind of the fun thing about Kartana, is it's it, it's a very easy battle with Kartana because like. It's very fast, I guess you could say. Like, if you have things that beat Kartana, like you have a special attack, it's gone. It, it, it's gone immediately. But if you don't, you just basically get instantly lost. You know, it's kind of funny. Besides surprise trading and catching, what are good ways to fill the decks out? Generally, target trading with, with friends... Oh, life do. That's what it used. That's why all the water absorbed popped up. It was just what? No, okay, no, it was what? It was lose life do. Uh, the only other thing I'd recommend is if you have Pokemon Home, bring in Pokemon from other games you know you don't have registered yet. Like that's what I did for for filling out my decks in actually my Sword version because I didn't actually have my Shiny Charm in Sword until about a month and a half ago. So I basically brought in everything from my Shield version and uh, some of the stuff from my Scarlet version to fill the decks out and fill in the gaps I had. And then I went, okay, well, I still have a few more things I need to go get and fill out. Lurking up a storm, doing four things at once. Thank you very much, Roos. Hello there, Raymond. How do you do? But yeah, no, I recommend doing that if you can. Not always possible, but I recommend that. I could go for Chinese Scolipede. So what what are the four things you're doing at the moment, Mr. Chicken Man of Roost? If you do not mind my asking. Having a good day. Glad you're having a good day, Raymond. I am also having a good day. I am not taking that. Yeah, again, if we go up against Kartana, we don't win, like, anyway. Uh, we kind of just get instantly flatlined by it. So, I don't see a need of going for the other thing. Magikarp, Raymond Random Max Adventures. Watching your chat participating giveaway for a mobile gacha game. Ah! Would you like to join in some random Dynamax adventures, Roost? Because we are doing random Dynamax adventures ourselves. You'd be able to focus a bit less on the the random DAs. Ah, you just going solo? Makes sense. Yeah, I, I am not using Lash Out on this thing. Hello there, Sylvia. How you doing? Ah, fair enough. Fair enough, Roost. Yeah, that's, uh, valid. Hello there. Hello. Oh, yeah, the king can't really do any damage to any of us. Well, I mean, I mean even, like, Thunderbolt wouldn't really do much to Jellicent, because Jellicent's all bulk. Well, that's, all, that, that's not great. Well, the thing has a Volt Absorb, I think, right? I think it's got Volt Absorb. Let's think. Yeah, it's got, I think, yeah, it's got Volt Absorb. 
But we have no need to worry about this thing. We just go for facade. Facade. Yeah, and for once, the NPC actually using Toxic was a good decision. Very rare NPC wins. Yeah, but then there's times where NPCs throw by doing that, because that would not have knocked out if Electric Drain was not in play. Some of us gotta love you, but sometimes you throw big time. You throw big time. Oh, right, you have Earth Power! Why the freak did you go for Electric Drain the first turn, then? Again, NPCs, they, they literally throw. It is the only thing they know how to do. Okay, hopefully I win this giveaway. They're giving away one of every seven star character to a single person over 200 plus. No, do that. Let's talk about the yeah, right. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. I I remember that uh, that sh short reaction. But nah, we're we're not gonna talk about that. That's kind of really not something to talk about here. Not really. So, so this is that Marvel contest of champions thing, right? This is that Marvel champions thing, right? So, do we get beaten by a, by a freaking lantern? Does the lampfish actually beat us? I swear, if lampfish actually beats us, I'm going to be floored. Oh, very nice. Very nice, Sylveon. Okay, good. We beat it. Now we go to the other stun fisk. Yeah, that's right. Let's go catch. Let's go catch the lampfish. Might as well. Might as well. And again, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe for more, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Yeah, I hope we uh, we get tornadoes from one of these DAs. That was oh good. Okay, that that was that was Jellison. That's good. Jellison is awful. But there is no Dynamax adventure that I would say Jellison is good for. Well, yeah, I mean Zatu is okay enough. Zatu is okay. It's not great, but it's usable. And a bot account won it rigged. How did a how did you know a bot account won? I have I have several questions, Chicken Man. I have I have several questions. Now let's see if when we beat this thing, whether I was right or wrong to not pick this thing up. Because again, on the one hand. We can go up against Dialga, who basically stonewalls us and is one of the most. Just... Yeah. D Dialga is one of the, the Dynamax adventures that I say. Don't do it. Don't, don't do randoms for it. As in, like, do not do a random DA. Because if you see the thing, you will go for a weakness it probably doesn't have. You know, that's why if you're doing it like in th this is this is one of the things when it came to the the Dynamax Adventure Counter Guide series that we're working on is keeping in mind the difficulty for because on the one hand a lot of Dynamax Adventures are actually relatively easy if you know what the boss is like Heat Ran's one of them if you go to a Heat Ran DA well whether or not you see, you know, fire or steel, you already know it's a, you know it's a heat ran. You know what to pick, you know, for your counters for heat ran. But if you're doing a regular generic DA, and you see, oh, it's a steel type, you know, and you go, oh, let's go for a fire type. But then you encounter the heat ran. Well, then you're kind of screwed because you know you can't, li you literally can't do anything to it. Uh, again, kind of the same thing with flying type, and then finding out, oh, it's a landerous. You went for rock types. You went for electric types. Well, it's a lando. What are you gonna do against them? You're weak, and you literally can't touch it. Dialga is that just all in one, where Dialga is is Steel Dragon. So the things you want to use against Dragon 
it entirely is neutral to. And then you see you see steel, but okay, well it's, it, it's neutral to fire, and it just bodies you. I'm surprised you don't have battle animations off. The reason why I don't have animations off is because I record a lot of things off screen that I actually do need the animations on for. So that's kind of why I think they're switching it on and off in that. But yeah, no, when it comes to Dialga, there are, like, again, there's fighting and there's ground. But what I'm saying is if you don't know the Dynamax adventure you're fighting is Dialga. That's kind of the issue, because when you see a steel type, generally the best answer to it is fire, because one, steel resists, fire resists steel, and, well, you can you can burn it. Most of the steel Dynamax events are physically based, so being able to inflict it with a burn, pretty good. Again, Dialga's the one exception, which turns a whole monkey wrench into the gears. Yeah, it... Yeah, we were talking about the, the Dynamax Adventure Counter Series and how difficulty for those is individually assigned. It's a combination... Yeah, most of the answer to dragons is fairy. But then the issue is, you see a dragon adventure, it turns out to be Dialga, all of your fairies immediately become worse. Okay, go, we got Bullstone. So, if we do fight Dialga, we're, we should be okay. If we fight Dialga, we should be fine. If it's flying, I'm always going ice. Yeah, if it is a flying raid, going for... Of course, it literally is Dialga. I freaking knew it. Freaking knew it. Well... Ah, uh, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe for more and wish... Um, our, our hero is the best of luck, because this is one of the hardest Dynamax adventures. Um, I don't know if I still need the Lando. If you have a Tornadus, yes. I picked up a Raikou pathing, which I think, like, right now, Raikou is probably a more valuable thing to make the video for. So, I, I, that, that remains to be seen. Foul play, interesting. Interesting going for foul play. At the very least, I do have Lash Out. Your team, this thing is dying. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. Giratina's whole thing is bulk. Yeah, again, like Stump does a decent amount of damage. Um, what's the Spider Man comic? I have no idea. I do not know Marvel Comics. I, I, I do not know comics all, oh, freaking, right, it has pressure. This thing has pressure, so which means lash out's kind of useless. My whole team is fairy and we have ice beam, okay. Yeah, that, okay, that, 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 you should be fine. Best Kanto party. Not sure I know what you mean, uh, Dark Dust. Uh, can you can you explain? And again, I mean Stunfisk is carrying. Stun Stunfisk carry. Okay, okay, yeah, you're fine. Yeah, if you have a freaking wiggly tough, that's basically the perfect counter to uh to 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 Giratina because it's very normal. It can't touch you with either Wormwind, well, Dragon Claw, or Shadow Claw, or Phantom Force. And, if it uses a max move of Max Phantasm or Max Wormwind, well, it activates competitive. And then you literally just blast it with a, with a plus two. Of course, then you use Purge. Imagine if could be Kalos could be in DA, just bring Dark Ghost to Shadow. Well... It wouldn't be in Dynamax Adventures anyways, because the whole thing is you find it outside of it. It's kind of thing like it, its whole thing is is not being in Dynamax Adventures, so not really sure about that. But if Calyrex was in Dynamax Adventures, it wouldn't be in its fused form. It would only ever be in its base form, because that's the way Necrozma is. Necrozma is only in base 
Necrozma, not uh, Dusk or Dawn Wing, Dusk Man or Dawn Wings. Our Captain Caraco stop. Love them. Love those two. I'm surprised we actually managed to like beat this. I'm I'm entirely surprised we beat this thing. Yeah, I think it honestly would be fairly easy if it was in Dynamax Adventures, even if it was in Shadow Rider form. Because Shadow Rider form, it just gets demolished by normal types and by uh, dark types. Ice Rider would be a little bit harder, but even then, like, base, base Calyx form would just get absolutely demoed by bug types. I would not mind if this Dialga is shiny. Much like our previous Porygon catch, I'm just going for the Beast Ball, because I do eventually want a Beast Ball shiny Dialga. Eventually, at some point. Eventually. Wait, what? Oh, my whole team is, is Fairy-type, and also I have Ice Beam. How do you have Ice Beam with a Fairy-type? What Fairy has Ice Beam? I mean, J I mean, Jinx isn't Fairy. It's Psychic. I'm confused. All right, let's check the non-existent shinies. No Scolipede. No Lantern. No Stunfisk. Sadly, no Beast Ball Shiny Dialga yet. But next one, we hit odds. We know he's doing Dynamax Adventures, Wilkins. He's, uh, Alola Ninetales is not in Dynamax Adventures. Um, no, I'm not gonna take a Dialga thing for this. He can speak, speak a Giratina and Chalap here. No, not Giratina. Yeah. But yeah, Alola Ninetales is Ice Fairy. Is it the, is it the only Ice Fairy type? Yes, it is the only Ice Fairy type. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, if you've got, like, a full Fairy team, Giratina's nothing. All right. Starting up another Dynamax Adventure Lobby. If you would like to join, feel free to pop in. 19283746. This is a random DA. Hi, Gala. Uh, Jinx, Grim, Snarl, Henry. Okay. Yeah, Jinx is psychic. Jinx is not fairy. Yeah, that that makes sense. Yeah, Hatterene a little bit worrisome because it's weak to uh, weak to ghost. Well, same with Jinx. But yeah, Grim Snarl just kind of bodies it. The only bad thing. Yeah, but you you don't realize how non-existent Jinx's physical defense is. J Jinx's physical defense is, I think, like, 35. If, if if Jinx gets hit by, like, a gust of wind, it goes down. Hello there, dude. Oh, thank you very much for coming in. Okay. The only reason I know that, Roost... Is because I have had to do so many. I've been doing a lot of videos for Dynamax Adventures, and Jinx has been like a recurring thing in a bunch of them. And I've actually like studied the Dynamax Adventures stats. The not good stat lines of a lot of Gen One Pokemon have been somewhat committed to memory because they're just kind of funny. Yeah, you can join in Dark Dust. You can join in. Just remember, there is one rule of Dynamax Adventures that is listen to the instructions from me. When we get to the team selection, wait before picking. Because I need to see what the overall selection is. Because some Pokemon might actually work well in a combination, whereas others may not. Yeah, but there's a bit of a there's we removed the latency, so there's there's very little delay between everything. The loading takes a lot. Yeah, the lo the loading is not terrible. I'm hoping poison since then the only one option. Yeah, I think they mean loading into like join the game roast. 
And then they mean like loading into the game and connecting to the internet. Yeah, if it is poison, there's only one option. That's na uh, not Naginate. All that is... Uh, Naya Lego. I, what is it with me and blanking on names lately? Um. Okay, yeah, we'll 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 start a new lobby because you're popping in right now. Um, I'm okay with like disbanding and reforming a, a lobby if we have three people. We know a fourth person is coming in. So like, thank you for for letting me know on that. So we're just gonna we're just gonna reform it. If we ever, like, disband a group, like, with a little time left, you can just rejoin immediately. It's, I do that if I know someone is coming in and they did not join. Alright, go to up. Yeah, no, you can pop in. You can pop in. Yeah, thank you for letting me know that you were going to come in. That's kind of the one thing... That, that worries me when doing these DAs that people don't mention, like, how close they are to joining in. And then, like, they just miss it by a second. It was like, we, we didn't know. Back just connected. Okay. So you should be able to connect right now, then. Good. All right. Again, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe for more. Leave a like on the stream. We did a lot of, yes, we did a lot of Yas yesterday, so that means tomorrow is Groudon Dynamax Adventures. Unless we find a Tornadus Pathing. Well, then again, if we find a Tornadus Pathing tonight, we're just doing more Tornadus for the rest of the day. So yeah, tomorrow's gonna be Groudon. Tomorrow's gonna be Groudon. Yeah, that's, that's one hunt I want to get finished quick. Because Groudon is, well, Groudon and Kyogre are... They're two of the hardest DAs that are not the typically realized as the hardest of hard DAs. Thank you. Um, you're playing, you said you're playing Sword, right? Yeah, Tornado Face is the Sword one. That is, that is the Sword one, right? Alright, so you said you'll be joining this one, Dark Dust? Right? Also, just a friendly reminder to everyone, click the button on the thing that says live. If there's a little circle next to it that is grayed out, that means you are not live on the stream. Uh, just click that and it'll bring you to the live part of the stream. Or uh, just refresh the whole page, that will remove any latency, which keeps you up to date on the stream. At the top. Yes. Yeah, Tornadus I just want because it is in my Draft League team. And I would ideally like to have that thing as a shiny for the, the draft team. Same with the Latias, but the, the Latias I, I, is more of a pressing wanting that shiny for because there's how long the hunt's gone on for. We are over double odds on that thing. Hello there, I think, Pid Hi, hello, I think Pigeon is cool. How you doing? Hope you're doing well today. Hope you're all doing well today. All right, yeah, it's going pretty good. Uh, but yes, that's, uh, that's good. Other than that, what else? Other than that, there was, uh, there was another thing I was gonna mention. No, 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 I can't not think of that. Alright, I don't think anyone else is gonna be popping in. Let's go. Alright, let's see what we get. Still got to, oh, oh, right, uh, just, just send me that, um, at, just send me a reminder, like, later tonight, Kayla. Uh, none of these are particularly good. I'm going to go with the Jinx just because I don't want to really risk that. None of these are particularly good. None of these are pretty... Diggersby. The Diggersby is very good to pick. Like, worst case scenario, we go up against, like, Bulu or Kyogre, and we see it's water or grass. You know, otherwise, it's just a good general pick. Okay, dragon. Okay, then we, we hold on to that. We hold on to the, the... We hold on to the diggers be then. And we go... You know what? We go... We go Lopany. We go Duraladon. 
And then we go Frost Moth. Yeah, we go Lopany. We do not pick up the Lopany. I swear, trying to connect would not let me. Yeah, it tells me I understand Dark Dust. I understand entirely. The internet does not like to work frequently. So I feel you on that. Um. Okay, let's think. So, the problem is with dragon, there is so many options for dragon types. No shinies yet. There are no shinies yet. Uh, you, you don't need to keep saying Zygarde Cat. You, you, you don't need to keep saying it. So again, Jinx is special figure that does not exist. Yeah, there's more options for Psychic than there is with, uh, with Dragon. The thing is, when it comes to the Psychic types, they basically all have the same weakness. You can bring Ghost against any of the Psychic types, and it basically demolishes them. You can bring Dark against most of the Psychic types, and it does demolish them still. There's only one where, like, there's only one Psychic Dynamax adventure where Dark is really not a great call, and that's specifically just Tapu Lele, because Lele is a fairy type. But against everything else, like, they're still weak to Dark. Uh, Bug, there's a few, that Bug is not great against all of them it's good against like maybe 80 percent of them but again still generally solid the problem is with dragon there is such a variability in the typings of dragon types you know it's like when, when it comes to dragon like there is there's dialga there's palkia there like, there's dragons that can body fairy types there's dragons that can body ice types. There's dragons that well, I mean all dragons body dragon types, which is one of the reasons why I say do not go for drag do not go for dragon types against a dragon type unless you know for certain the dragon type you're fighting is like Latios or Latias, in which case, yeah, you're you're good to go for like you're good to pick up something like that Flygon or that Dura. I I I have not... I was getting to Zygarde. I, I was getting to Zygarde. Again, there's a lot of dragons. You know, there's uh, Zekrom, Reshram, which, again, they... Well, Reshram doesn't fear ice types. It doesn't fear fairy types. You've got Kyrim, which doesn't fear ice types, which, de well, again, destroys all dragon types. You've got, you know, Dialga, which completely shrugs off most of the typical counters. Actually, shrugs off all the typical counters. You know, Rayquaza. Rayquaza's a joke. But then, you know, you got Palkia, which is actually a lot of spread damage. You know, again, shrugs off Ice-type moves. And then there's Zygarde, which just... Zygarde is really not even a dragon. It's a ground-type with spread damage, and it's just ungodly levels of bulk to just break through. Well... We're no longer... The Dynamax Adventure is no longer open for the lobby. You need to join during the lobby being open to join in. That's why you're not able to join right now. You need to join when we're, we're still searching. Yeah, Azelf is... Azelf is pretty easy. Azelf is, is a very, very easy... And you can switch out the Pink Urchin for the Lopany and then use that against the other things going, coming up if you want. I, I, I know. I, I, I know, Cat, that I said it is a Dragon Ground type, but it operates more like a Ground type. Rather than a Dragon type in DAs. I, I'm aware. I've done a number of videos on Zygarde. I, I cannot do that, J... Str uh, I have no idea how to say that name because this entire thing will literally get taken down if I start singing it. That is how absolutely insanely aggressive the content ID thing is on the site. I, I literally cannot. Yeah, it, it will literally get taken down. Also, yes, Cat, we again said it multiple times. Show that good stuff.
yeah, that's... Yeah, I trust me, I... W Maybe at some point I'll do that as, like, a separate standalone video. I... We, we know, Cat. We, we know. We, we've talked about this before. I can't even actually use a... Looks like a lot of these stuff. Um, yes, Dynamax against this thing. I would, I would Dynamax against this thing. Unfortunately, you are paralyzed. Well, then again, what, what move does... Oh, no, it has Stun Spore. That's what uh, Tangle has got. Thank you very much for the subscribe. No subscribe. Thank you very much. But yeah, no, at some point we might do a uh, standalone video of me singing the Pokemon theme song. What we're going to be doing with Peaches from uh, the Mario movie. Which, again, I promise me you do that. I really hope we can cure this paralysis. I mean, again, Zygarde is the, the Dynamax adventure most people are scared of. Because it is almost impossible to do solo. That's one of the reasons I don't really recommend Jinx and Dynamax Adventures. Its physical defense literally does not exist. Breaking Swipe is a freaking weak as heck move. I'm trying to hit Gligar. And five minutes later, didn't even KO third of the same moment. Didn't KO it, just showing Yeah, I mean, that's the thing about shiny hunting. Is. It, it literally is completely irrelevant whether or not you actually have any bonuses not or not. Because it's all RNG. No, we're beating this thing. We're going to be beating it. We'll be able to beat it. Just try to remember a bit more, cat. Like, we, we said multiple times in the span of a few seconds. Yeah, we can beat Zygarde. We're not Zygarde. We can beat this Duraludon. I have a slight feeling. General account? I didn't know that. I don't look like. Cool. Isn't it, like, slightly green? Isn't, isn't it slightly green? Bonk. Yeah, the good thing is, I'm a special attacker against this thing, so... And its special defense is... Frail, so I can I can actually still chip through this thing. Yeah, the, the tangle literally can't do anything to it. Well, okay, that kills me. That 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 just kills me. Yeah. I mean, so long as we connect, what one more max quake, we should be okay. Hello, Ditto. How are you doing? I'm doing very well today. I'm doing very, very well today. We are just going to be hitting odds for Dynamax Adventures without getting a shiny. Uh, having since, you know, started this whole random shiny hunt. Not, not since starting today, because there's no way we encountered 100 Pokemon in DAs already. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's... The... If we get a healing cheer and we cure that paralysis, that would be absolutely wonderful. Because that's completely irrelevant. That was literally useless. Okay, but we finally beat it. We finally freaking beat the thing. And Drain Punch top its HP off. Oh, fun. That's good. That's very good. Oh, again, I wouldn't mind a Shiny Dura, but I would rather have a zero speed. Well, zero attack Shiny Dura for competitive reasons. But it's still good. This one just go into the shiny giveaway bin if we get that. I am not sure what the final Pokemon should be for my shiny TL mask team. We have Gliscor, Ludicolo, Komo'o, Mianxiao, and Vikavolt. Ooh. I like that team. Uh, Lopini, switch out for this. If you want. Um... Honestly, I like that lineup so far. I like that team. Um, then we go Frost Moth. We go for Frost Moth here. Um, listening to Here Comes the Sun. Uh, nope. I think I may have heard that before. Do not recall. 
Uh... I honestly am not. Then that's a fairly solid team right there. Last thing. Hey, Demper. Hey, Demper. Uh, last thing to add to the team for that. So you've got what? Grass, water, dragon, fighting, fighting, electric bug. Hmm. Cat, stop spamming. I can do literally nothing to this thing. Well, I'll just go lovely guess because I can't do any damage to it. Yeah, I mean, for it, you could go for it. The floof noodle. The floof noodle is always a good pick, and we gotta sleep good. Um. What was your first Pokemon game? That was Pokemon Diamond version for me. Mine was Pokemon Diamond version. Um. Okay. A part of me is wanting to switch out Diggersby for Frostmoth. Yeah, I, I think I think we switch out. Uh. I think we switch out Diggersby for Frostmoth. Because normally I would like to keep the Diggersby, but it is paralyzed and at very low health. Yeah, I mean, Mammoth's one is also a great one. Mammoth's one is a very good one. Uh, no, Random, we have not gotten the Shiny Latias yet. Pokemon Go, let's go Pikachu. Yeah, that's not a bad game. It's not a bad game. Again, which wasn't really designed for us long-term players. Yeah, I say we switch out the... the there's no way we get two Dialga Dynamax Adventures back-to-back... But mark my words, that is literally what's going to happen. Which means we need to... Which means I am going to need to Dynamax against this thing. We all have, uh, good shiny, good Pokemon. Does have type overlap with Glass Squad. Plus Doug, right? Yeah. Um, Emeralds of a How do I feel about shiny locks? I honestly don't feel one way here nor there on it. Okay, well, okay, we can't. Well, actually, not terrible for us. This isn't bad for us. I guess we, I guess we Dynamax the, um, we Dynamax the Dura. Now, before I give my answer, I see both sides. I see both sides of the for shiny locks and both sides of the against shiny locks. On the one hand, you know, people want to hunt their shinies, and you can't shiny hunt that. You, you can't shiny hunt them anymore, then. On the other side... Doing shiny locks prevents people... Well, it, it makes it easier to find people who are hacking. And, you know, basically giving away shinies that are hacked. On the other end of it, there is also... The impression it gives to those who are not familiar with shiny hunting at large that it is just they are a, an odds they are a number of counter number of time which can kind of take away from the individuality of each of the pokemon i honestly have no strong feelings here nor there i'm kind of indifferent to the shiny locks because i realize whether you have them or whether you don't have them, there is always going to be very long-standing problems both of them create for very, very different reasons. That's scary. Yeah, that was, uh... Karim's, Karim's a bit... Karim's a bit more difficult to actually fight than you'd really think it is. Okay... Well, I don't know, we just Dynamax the, the thing when that comes back. We, we just Dynamax it when it comes back. Yeah, for me, it's... I, I'm mostly indifferent to the Shiny Locks. I have my problems with them. I have my likings for them and likings them not being there and my problem with them not being there. But it was kind of a no-win situation no matter what. I think, I think, I think, I think it's okay. I think we have a chance. 
I think we got a shot. Okay, no, now we don't have a shot against this thing. Okay, now we actually lose. Jeez, God. Yeah, Kyrim's a tricky one. Kyrim is a very tricky one. If we weren't like the Tangle has no special defense, we would have been able to beat this thing. But that is AI bots. That is the bots in general. But we have exactly 100 Dynamax Adventure shiny checks. So we are literally exactly on odds. No shiny. I want legit shiny patini. That's my only standing with it. I mean, there has been a shiny Victini. Shiny Victini was given away. So there 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 does exist legitimate There does exist legitimate shiny Victini. It's just it was given away specifically as it not huntable. There we go then. Let's uh let's, let's Let's uh, scale this down a little bit. There we go. There we go. I do like Kyram. I do like Kyram. But it does kind of uh, suck to fight. Because in Dynamax Avengers it's pretty tricky. Yeah. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Who knows? You know, if, if Ilka does handle the Unova remakes... They did remove they did remove shiny locks with those games, so who knows? Maybe when we get the Ilka black and white games, they will give you that shiny huntable Victini. Who knows? Alright, link code is open. I'm only standing with it. Nothing you say will convince me. Give me the red and white victory. Yeah. Yeah, and I have a feeling that when we get the black and white remix, that will be shiny huntable. Because if Ilka handles the remakes, which likely is the entire point of it, we'll do it. Roost. Roost. The, the things people don't like about BDSP, those were not the things about BDSP that Ilka wanted to do. Ilka wanted to actually have a Pokemon... B, basically, Ilka wanted BDSP... To be more like Oras. The reason we got BDSP the way it is, is because Game Freak mandated they have to do that because of Legends Arceus. If it wasn't for Legends Arceus coming in that mandate by Game Freak, BDSP would have actually been a lot more in line with what players wanted. All right. Yeah, that's kind of the unfortunate thing about it, is that, again, it, it, which, the thing is, that kind of makes me have more of an issue with Legends Arceus than anything. It's, it's not something that I think makes BDSP a better game, but it's something that I think makes Legends Arceus a worse game, in that you basically had one game sabotage another, which I think is not a good precedent for anything. No, we are not looking for shiny unknown. We have the unknown there because we are hunting for random Pokemon. We do not have a specific target in mind. That's why the, the unknown is present. Again, anyone can pop in for Dynamax Adventures if you want to join in. Yeah, that's... Yeah, like... That's one of the many reasons I think Game Freak having that mandate for BDSP was a big thing that just force multiplied them in the foot. They, they basically force multiply themselves in the foot because, one, it completely shatters confidence in a game made by Ilka going forward. Despite that, like, they made a One Piece game and, like, people apparently, like, love that One Piece game because it was very faithful but done very, very, very well. Like, people love that game. But now, within the Pokemon community, people see Ilka as, like, tainted goods if they've touched a, a Pokemon game. 
Okay, Frostbolt's not bad. So it's just kind of funny that by by trying to play it safe, they ended up making things so much more catastrophically worse. Uh, Wigglytuff is probably the best and safest pick. I, know, I, just, I just find that very funny. Hello there, Dreams. Welcome back. I mean, hey, hey, Roost. If you want to see actions, go check out that One Piece game Ilka made. Go check that out. Um, Alright, we're going to go for the dark type. We're going to go for that dark type that is Thievul. And we go from there. I don't remember what it is called. Let me go check. But yeah, all I, I mean, all I've heard about that One Piece game they made is nothing but good things. Yes. Again, that's the, the entire reason BDSP ended the way it was, was entirely because Game Freak decided, not Ilka. Well, we don't know when Ilka Black and White is coming. Yeah. I think... I said we go for the Dark type, not the Blaziken. SK. The one rule of Dynamax Adventures is we listen to the instructions. One Piece Odyssey. That's the game. Yes, that is the game they are they made for One Piece. Knowing that Ilka was behind that train rack, definitely not buying another Ilka game. I've heard nothing but good things about One Piece Odyssey. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Really? I... Strange. You know, I, I've heard nothing but good things. So, can't really say anything other than what I've heard. All I can say is what I have heard, and that's all I can say. And I'm one piece fan. Went 100% of Pirate Warriors before I started the game. I have no idea what any of that means, Roast. Well, that probably ends me. Yeah, that ends me. What? I mean. Maybe I could have seen. No, maybe not survived. Uh, Special max flare, because even then, even with the ice scales, it's still stab. So that would have counteracted it. Yeah, that that still probably would have ended me. Coverage fire moves, I probably could the coverage fire moves I could handle. Not stab fire. It means I platinumed a game with over 40 characters and the unique skill tree is before I beat One Piece Odyssey, because not even. Again, I, I I know nothing about like either of those games roost. It's so, like I, I don't know how long that takes. I don't know what kind of game they are. Are they open world? Are they JRPGs? You you kind of need a little bit more kinda of, hello there, Team Grookey. Yeah, Grookey, there we're not we're probably not gonna be seeing any news about Legend Z A until probably next year's Pokemon Day Pokemon Presents. They're they, they've been getting very stingy with any game information purely because they want to control it. They want to entirely control the game narrative un until basically the lead up to the game. And also so they can basically spot who's leaking information, if anyone truly is. So yeah, we're probably not going to be seeing anything out of news for the game for a long while. I'm kind of surprised I survived that. We, we saw before a dream. Please, don't spam. 
good, then kind of always done. Y'all enjoy Yoka. I'll stay at Wellerby. Sounds good, Roost. But all I'll say is, if they do make it, that's probably the only way that you're going to be getting a shiny Huntable Victini. Yeah, we'll catch the, we'll catch the plays again. Could be a decent shiny check. But yeah. I look forward to that. I'll probably not get shiny Victini. All right. All right. All Xander's Rizzo, they, they did the one thing, I mean, they may do the one thing you've been wanting. Oh, no, do not switch for Blaziken. Actually, yeah, it's probably, actually, it's do switch out. Because, like, Combustion's terrible. I know. All right, let's see, what are our options left? Honestly, the the least bad thing is we go for Skarm. Oh yeah, we just go for Skarmory and we switch out Blaziken for Skarmory. I guess that's what we do. So yes. We go for some. Alright, yes. Conversation done. Yeah, we go for Skarm, we switch the Blaze Can out for the Skarm. Suicune, last warning. Chill. Yeah, we go for the Skarm. Yeah, I swear if it's freaking actually Solgaleo, not gonna be fun for us. Yeah, Blaze Kick is better to go for than Fire Pledge. Actually, actually what are the Fairy's defenses like? I mean, its defenses are probably so pathetically small no matter what, it doesn't really matter. Oh, well, just curiosity. Oh, yeah, the sub took damage. Thank you very much for having subscribed. Fairy. Actually, yeah, no, Blaze Kick was better. It's actually, it's, it's physical defense is a lot lower compared to its special defense than I thought. 48 compared to 65. That's actually surprisingly different. That's, I kind of expected it to be like 55, 60. Hmm. Something never done. Yeah, not going to do anything. I'm just going to go click Weather Ball. Yeah, just use physical blaze kick next. Just use physical uh, max flare next turn. Just use that next turn. And uh, Dynamax. So that way I will do a lot more damage with Weather Ball. Okay, keep using Life Dew. Keep, keep using Life Dew. It does absolutely nothing. That's good. At least it kind of lets us get our health back. Yes. Yes, that should be fine. The dynamic now. And then we go for the... Weatherball Fire. The Weatherball Fire does a decent amount of damage to this thing. Well, I mean, it's gonna do... Triple damage? I think. But what a triple damage. Yeah, even if you... Even, well, then again, if it gets burned, it will still take damage because of the... It doesn't have magic card. Yes, it's got friend guard. Remember the one rule of DAs. Listen to the instructions. That is the one rule. If that cannot be followed, then we will just do them solo. Why is that fractal window open? I'll get rid of that. No, we should be fine. We should be fine. There we go. And let's beat the Clefairy. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Yeah, switch out the Blaziken for... Oh, no, 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 not out for this. Switch out the Blaziken for the, the, the Skarmory when we get to the Skarmory. There we go. 
worth getting tied. I'm going, so that works out for me. No shiny Magikarp from the side, but it's what it is. Yeah, I mean, if we... Well, no, I'm gonna forget to turn off the... I'm gonna forget to turn animations back out when I need to do it later, so yeah, I'm probably gonna go do that. Yeah, again, the one thing about doing solo DAs is just I have no clue what the typing is gonna be. Like, what the thing we're fighting against is. Not gonna take that. Will they switch out for that for? Yeah, well, probably wasn't anything important. Oh, uh, Seedra, that's what it was. That's what swapped out. Doesn't expect anything from the carp side until over odds. How far into the Magikarp thing are you? Like, what, what, what are you up to when it comes to carp? Out of pure curiosity. Yeah, I mean, that's the best way to do Shiny You just not expect to get the thing until you have Roz. Kind of makes me sad, so I don't... Ah! So you have not been keeping track, then. Understandable. I mean, there's no real reason for me to not use Taylor. I can't do anything to this thing anyway. No reason to not... Ooh, good. Critical hit. Actually, a weak armor actually would probably do more damage over the long term with all the defense debuffs. Hello there, Ben Art. I, w I would disagree that this game is better designed than Scarlet Violet in some aspects. I think Scarlet Violet's got better design in some, w some aspects over this one. But I will say in some ways it is better designed. Some. Actually, yeah, NPC as you can reflect actually was pretty good. You know, I I don't think that there's an absolute 100% everything is better than some ways because nothing is an absolute. And there's no reason for me to do anything else. I can't really do any damage. Oh right, Blaze Kick does have a chance of missing. Well, I mean, I couldn't do anything anyway this turn. That's fine. Stop counting after I phased on that second pedal. I'll just... How long ago did you phase on that pedal, L? Like, how, how long ago was that phase? Because, like, that was, what, like, three... That, that was at, at least, like, two months ago. Maybe three or four. There's no way that was anywhere recent. I did watch Legend of Korra, yes. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't done so already. And leave a like on the stream. Yeah, we can use it. I mean, again, like, oops. Don't know, I lose track of time. I guess I can check the box, see the day. Go. Yeah, I, I'm curious. I do not play Fortnite, which is your favorite avatar. Um, Favorite one is Aang. Favorite character from Avatar is Aang. No, don't Dynamax. Don't Dynamax. It was synced up by then. Yeah, I'm curious what date what day you actually got that one on. Yeah, that's it's funny how much damage things take when like its defense is just non existent. Seven, yeah, I prefer Last Airbender over Legend of Korra, mostly because I, I like Aang as a character more. I think Korra as a character is just a bit too abrasive. I could go for I could go for a shiny Skarmory encounter. I could go for a shiny of these. Yeah, it was... Uh... Yeah, there was only one... Yes, switch out Blades Akin for Skarmory. Yeah, there was only one generation where actually breeding a shiny Pokemon gave a higher likelihood of getting a shiny. And that was back in Gen 2, because uh, IVs determined shininess back then. Well, DVs was the term for them then. Fuzzer, yeah, that was, it was better. Maybe under 2k if I had to ask me. Wow. You're, you're not that far in. I don't know, I, I was not a big fan of Gen 2. The, the insane, and by insane, I mean the 
in, in insane level spiking with how frequently that game level spikes you kind of really takes a lot out of it for me you know just it, it okay azelf okay that's not bad hgss made it a little bit better in some ways but also it it did make it a lot worse because back in gen 2 to sort of compensate for the insane level spiking you had the badge boosts you know that was a 12 and a half percent boost to all of your stats after you got you know certain ba after you got certain badges and a further 10 percent boost to the power of moves of a certain typing after you collected a badge which really compensated for being under leveled so for kind of a bit of a comparison if you were level you know if you were a level 10 pokemon and you had the badge boosts you functionally had the base stats of a level like 13 pokemon so you know just apply that over a while you know you're a level you know you're you're a level what 40 pokemon you've got the stats of like almost a level 50 pokemon so if you're in the level so if you're like level 60, you've got the stats of basically a level 72 Pokemon. And and that really compensated for the lack of level ability in that game, which, all things considered, is probably the reason the level spikes in Heart Gold and Soul Silver are as bad as they are. The issue is when they made Heart Gold and Soul Silver, they didn't rescale the levels of everything you're fighting so like, they didn't rescale the experience you know, they didn't rescale the level of the trainers and the level of wild pokemon to actually make it semi in line which is kind of a bit which is a big issue but yeah that's yeah dynamax and use the dark type move that's kind of like the one issue that I have. And that's one of the things I think that it holds back Gen 2 and holds back the Gen 4, the Gen 2 remakes in Gen 4, is that there's a lot of, like, really cool things Gen 2 has. Like, you know, exploring a second region is kind of a really cool thing. I love the Pokeathlon Dome. But the playability of those games is so heavily compromised by the hours of level grinding that really they could have very easily fixed which again shows the it shows no one knew about the the badge boosts back in the day because even the devs seemed to have forgotten about the badge boosts and they didn't overcompensate for it which led to a number of the problems that do exist within the Generation 4 games. Which, so, which is one of the reasons why it actually shows in Generation 5, where they actually added in a way of, you know, making up the experience with, uh, Audino. Oh yeah, no, Manetric is just absolutely jokes on Coco. It jokes on, uh, Raikou for the same reason. I do think Kanto could have been better nature this again that's kind of one of the issues is kanto is like a that's kind of one of the reasons why when people say well you know hard gold has two um you no know, can uh, johto has two regions in it is the kanto we get in the johto games is a very hollowed out version of kanto you know it's you can basically run through the entirety of the kanto post game in you know really like two three hours because a lot of the bosses like a lot of the gym leaders are incredibly under leveled and well they're, they're they're lower levels than the elite four which is is very deliberate the only part of it that actually takes a long time to go and do is you need to go and get the machine part for the the uh 
uh, the radio tap, the, the machine part for the power plant so that you can get the Snorlax to move. And it just because you have to go surf on the whole thing. You know, is that it, it's a very hollowed out version of Kanto. You know, Shiny? And that's kind of one of the reasons why we, we're kind of never going to get another double region Pokemon game. Because even in the game where we did get two regions, the second region was was not never fleshed out. It's, you know, maybe two, three hours of gameplay, and then it's done. Because it's, it's, it's literally just like a, a boss gauntlet of refight the gym leaders with, you know, kind of even unimpressive team for the point in the game they're at, and then you just... You can go fight the Elite Four again. Which kind of goes into the second thing. In order to basically flesh out a second region to the same degree a first region would mean to be fleshed out, that would require a... basically a double game budget. So essentially, you would be producing two games for the price of one game. Which is just... That, that's something that game companies just, they don't really do. No, it, it's it's literally the equivalent of taking a briefcase full of money, dumping it out on the ground, pouring gasoline on it, and just lighting it on fire. Hello there, me Pokemon. Welcome in. Check it, stupid number two date of catch. I'm in. Hello there, dreams. Welcome in. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe for more and leave a like on the stream, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, it... That's part of why, like, the idea of a second region in a game has a lot of appeal is that, oh, you can explore more, but... In, in, in reality, you get the same amount of, like, playtime from a second region as you actually do from just gym leader rematches. In something like uh, Oras. Because it's... You're fighting eight more people. And they have improved higher level teams. Now, when in Heart Gold Souls, you do have a chance to re-rematch all the, elite, the all the gym leaders. Which again, does that a lot. But the way they handle that is specific days and times. Which is... I, I know Dreams, I saw. You don't need to... Bam. I mean, again, I'd, I'd love to see, like, two region games, but it's the practicality of producing them is a bit problematic. That's one of the reasons why they're going with, like, the DLC system. Yeah, exactly. In, in theory, it's really cool. Because, it, again, it goes into this concept that I've mentioned a lot of times when it comes to, you know, just media in general. The idea in your head is always better than what is actually deliverable because the idea in your head is uniquely tailored to specifically you. What would you do if you need to Well, I mean, that's just, that's just Hydreigon. That's literally Hydreigon right there. November says that 521, so I guess it wasn't synced by then. But I got it for my rough look. Okay, so wow, that was actually a long time ago. Yeah, the DLCs I prefer that better because the thing is, with a DLC, it's smaller. You know, if, if something is is smaller, they can dedicate more time to fleshing out that smaller area and actually making a story. Yeah, go crowd on. Good widow, very good pick. Yeah, it's it 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 it's one of the reasons why, DLCs are smaller. But exactly, exactly, Suicune. It's well, Basculin, Basculin, very good. You know, it's it's again. It, the problem is a lot of people they want like these big, giant, open, sprawling areas. But the problem is when you have a giant, big, open, sprawling area, it's generally going to be pretty devoid of anything. I have 100 swap blue eggs, too easy to hatch them. Ooh, fire, this is gonna be easy. 
I, I don't think we, we, actually, well, there's one thing we can go do. Um, we're gonna go for Pelipper. So, we go Bisharp, Pelipper, and then Swampert, but we switch out the Sudowoodo for the Pelipper, and then we just roll from there. And then we, we were just absolutely finished with this thing. Yeah, the DLCs are a lot of fun. Like, one of the best examples of it is, look at, like, Legends Arceus. A lot of big open areas. But, really, all there is to do in Legends Arceus is just, you know, fill, grind out the decks. As long as being the Isle of Armor fell asleep all the time. Yeah, Isle of Armor was definitely pretty boring. Like... It does show very heavily that when they made the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra, they didn't actually put 100% effort into it. I caught the size accurate Whale Lord and then left. Yeah, like it, it does show that it was literally just a test, would people like this DLC concept? And then, when they made Scarlet Violet and they knew people would actually buy a DLC, they spent more time on it. Which is weirdly paradoxical, as this sounds. Whenever it comes to media, you know, be it games, be it movies, TV shows, etc., they never put their best idea in the first iteration. They never do that. Yeah, the Crown Tundra, again, I think they, they spent a lot more time with the Crown Tundra, you know, making that. Okay, well, this is the one that people are actually going to be playing more. The Isle of Armor feels a lot more like it was made for competitive players, Whereas the Crown Tundra was literally for everyone. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. When it comes to, like, any media in general, you never use your best ideas on your first iteration. Because you don't know if people are going to go for that idea. So, you generally make things a bit bare bones, see what the response is, and if the response is favorable then you go all in you know with the next one that's one of the reasons why legends arceus is a very bare bones game it was an experiment to see do people want this kind of game and then we see a, okay people wanted it let's go let's go fluff around and find out the level of dlc's are different regions you dlc kid county gives you yes exactly Again, like that, that literally just shows that was three years later they went from the very bare bones nature of Isle of Armor Crown Tundra to, you know, very heavily fleshed out and pretty well done stories. I liked Kabu but didn't like Urshifu. Really, what? Any reason you don't like Urshifu? Is it just like battling it or design? Or just the concept of it? Because I can kind of understand those. Uh, but what's the question about Zook? Uh, what's, what's the question about? Yeah, actually, probably is best you switch out the, uh... Probably is best you switch out the Tsuda Wudo before we go fight the, uh, the Pelipper. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, Jade. Hello, Jade. But yeah, Jade, we might do some ogre ousting later tonight. Might. Possibly. But yeah, I know it, 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 it does show that DLC 1, well, the, the, the first DLCs with, with Sword and Shield were very experimental. Hello there, Bertrand. How you doing? How you doing? Still wish we got to see the Castellia City Skyline on the Indigo Disc. I can live with the Castellia theme in the Indigo Disc Lodge. Yeah. Turns out I'm the only person in my school who even knows how to pitch. Doesn't surprise me, Jade. 
does not surprise me. But yeah, no, that's, uh, that's fun. Sin scaling would have been cool. Yeah, I... Again, I don't know when we're gonna get Unova remakes. I still think that they were going to release Unova... This is my crackpot theory. They were going to have a Unova remake. Maybe this year, or a Unova game or something releasing this year. But, after they saw the internet literally just exploding with all of, like, the, the hope for a future Unova game before Indigo Disc, they realized, okay, we, we need to go back to bases and make sure this thing actually goes well. Because, remember, the, the operating assumption Game Freak had for literally over a decade is Unova was the worst generation. So they wouldn't have put a lot of effort into it. Then saying, oh wow, people actually do like Unova. We gotta go back and like change plans. We have not gotten it yet, Boomer. It is over double odds. Favorite Pokemon is Metagross. Mobile version donations won't allow it. What? Dude, you, you, you've done donations of the thing before on, on mobile. Uh, you, you've done it before, Jade. Well, see, you are correct on that, Sly. You can't remove perfection. But you are not perfection. So you are very removable. But yeah, no, I, my, my crackpot theory is they were going to release a Unova remake. My, my crackpot theory is they were going to release a Unova remake with, like, minimal effort. They saw how much people actually were anticipating Unova, and they went back, okay, we need to actually make sure we don't screw this up, or we're going to lose a lot of people. We're, we're going to lose a lot of fans. Oh, no, I was, I was going to time out Sly anyway. Jade just simply beat me to it. All of us had the same idea. Fun. I will snitch on Jade 11 times out of 10. <laughs> also remember, Roost, I, I can see who times out who. I do have the feed popped up. Again, the reason we only time Sly out is historically we've timed out Sly and we get a shiny immediately after. Point those downs. Yeah. I'm putting air horn on Jade's location. Fair enough. Yeah, and I can only when messages are retracted, which means that the person who posted them also deleted it. Again, I, I am I am admin. You failed the final last twelve. Finn, I said to switch out the. I said to switch out for the Pelipper. Let, let the NPC take it. Let the NPC take it. Am I still dead? No, Boomer. Did you feel to hide them good enough for me not to notice? Alright, Finn, switch out. Good. If this isn't good, switch out for the Swampert. Okay, switch out for the Swampert when we get to the Swampert. Watch out for the Swampert. 15 jumping jacks. I have no idea what that means, Luke. I have no idea what that means, Duke. Must have been the wind. I haven't found the last 12. I may not hide them well, but you don't look well either. I know, that's why I... I... Pukamugu has no moves. Pukamugu has no moves. Remember, I also said I wanted you to switch out the Bisharp for the Pelipper, because Bisharp is weak to fire. 
I also wanted the Pelipper specifically on the team because it automatically sets rain. T tell telling viewers not to follow the one rule of Dynamax Adventures, Sly. That's what we call a bannable offense. Yeah, just use water moves on the Swampert. Just use water moves. They do more damage than Ice Fang. Go to sleep, Sly. It's past your bedtime. It's past your bedtime, Sly. Yeah, I'm not going to use any more of those moves. I need to save them. It is past your bedtime, Sly. Yeah, I wish the NPC bot would actually go for things other than wide guard. No, Pukamugu is not good. Pukamugu is not good. Because it can do no damage on its own. Almost every single fire type legendary in Dynamax Adventure is a special attacker, so counter is completely useless. Innards Out also only activates when it goes down, which is not good considering we want to keep as many lives as possible and Pukamugu's HP is basically nothing when the Dynamax Adventure Legendaries have five times normal health. Man, it's past my bedtime. There's my Roost, you can make up your own rules. It is not nearly, it is not past your bedtime, because you do not have one. You can go to sleep at any time. So yes, switch out the Pukamugu for the Swampert. She's like, you didn't get timed out. I can tell that, that message actively discussed someone. Probably meta. There is no free sly. There is no free sly. That sly, this is what you get for simping from Yaskarada. This this is your punishment for the simping. Uh we Dynamax Basculin. We Dynamax the Basculin. Will you not time out Sly for a day? Sly amuses me enough. Ooh, life orb, I want that. No starting social movements in this chat. We No 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 no. No. No roost. No. We love freedom here. USA number one. We here support freedom. We just don't support Sly. Because Sly guy simps from Yaskarada. Exactly, because Sly's freedom means freedom to simp from Yaskarada, which is not something we allow. Oh, it is a Reshiram. Nice. It does work for nobody uses it right. Disagree on that. Disagree on that fully. Okay, Reshiram, good. Do you have more special defense or... Well, then again, no. It is better to go anyway for for um for that. I mean, I'll just go for Dynamax Max Darkness anyway. Because you guys have the like, special moves. Slides where I they do not slide. You and your you and your your boomer thoughts do not. You and your your boomer tactics can okay, I mean I'll I'll Dynamax and then use Earth yeah, then Earth Power. Yeah, it Cause that will drop special defense and after that I'll just go for Max Geyser. Revolutionary. If you are free, do something. 
you aren't able to, right? That means... We See, here's the thing. I can sell that, Jade. I choose not to, because I like the Godzilla figure. Blue eyes, white dragon, wannabe. Who's that go by? Want a biscuit? A bone? Sacrificial lamb? <laughs> Again, we, we love Unova here. Unova number one. Yes. Very, very based opinion, Roost. Very based opinion. Oh, extrasensory, that's why it flinched. I keep forgetting Reshiram gets extrasensory. Exactly, you're not free. Being free means you can throw away your care and just do whatever you want. Not, not exactly, Jade. Not, not, not quite. I, I don't quite think you, you understand that. That kind of shaky. Common sly L. You just floofy murdery. Uh, I wouldn't say murdery. I'd say just um. Pyromaniac? Plasma might still matter. Floof. Very floof. He's a very floof dragon. That is true. You do understand it more than most, Jade. You do understand it more than most. That's why we go for uh, Max Darkness, because that drops its special defense a little bit. And now Max Geyser should take it down. That is why we like the Life Orb here. Life Orb is the best item in Dynamax Adventures. I swear, if I get a shiny of this, it'll be the first... The thing is, if I get a shiny from this Rashiram, it'll be the second shiny Rashiram I've gotten, but the first one I have on a shiny capture. Not stupid, not that stupid. You only know debate people. Exactly! Exactly, Jade. I'm gonna go sleep. Can't tell I'm tired because I'm slowly more wholesome. Exactly, Roost. Wholesome Roost is a little unsettling, but I also like Wholesome Roost. Go rest, chicken man. You've earned it. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't done so already. Also, Jade, can you go grab Sly Guy's link? You know, we, we may not allow his freedom of boomer thought for simping for Meowskarada, but we do, at the very least, want to give our friend a shout-out. We've not gone a Tornadus pathing yet. We have not gotten a Tornadus pathing. I do love Melty Face, but not today. Not, not We are not going for Melty Face. We've already gotten a shiny Melty Face. Anything's fine. Thank you, Jade. Yes, Calm Roost is actually kind of scary. I will rest in the winnings of my last best Roman Emperor of the Triumvirate. Very good. Very, very good. Alright, link code is open. If anybody wants to join, feel free to join. Again, remember the one rule of Dynamax Adventures to listen to the rules. Follow the instructions. That's all we ask. Stop doing stuff, I want to join. Jade, we, we you, you can join. You can join the thing. I'm not explaining what it is, man. I probably just read Percy Jackson. I don't read Percy Jackson. I don't read Percy Jackson. I know what the triumvirate is. Poppy, Cassius, and Caesar. Slide on harass other shatters. <laughs> also, there's two triumvirates. Like, Greco Roman myth and also just Roman history is my, one of my favorite things. Do you think Mudkip is home yet? I do not. Mudkip generally gets home at what, like 3 30 ish our time? Or well, my time? No, that'll be our time because you, you're, you're in New Jersey. You have Jersey timeline. So, how many Ultra Beasts have you swept Sly with yet? It's all good. It's all good, cat. 
I'm going to throw fisticuffs at all shadows and else's energy. Mudkip is Massachusetts, so he is our time. Yeah, it's true. I love either of the Triumvirates, so I forget it. I forget all the other members. All I know is Nero. See, see, that's a that's a wrong thought right there, Sly. That that is a very timeoutable offense. Still too. Yeah, I saw I saw the the Buzzwall one. That Buzzwall one was pretty good. But then you you turned that fight around. Mimikyu. He insulted JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. He insulted JoJo's... We have been trying to get Sly to watch JoJo for a while. Go for the Boldor. See, Sly, this is why your thoughts do not matter. You insult good media. I don't watch much anime, but I say good things about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure because that's a good series. It's very entertaining. Oh, great, a dragon type literally could not narrow anything down. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What have we got? We have got... None None of this is actually, like, well done. Okay. Uh... Like, least bad pathing is going for the freaking Sneasel. Is going for the Sneasel, and then we go for the freaking... Alright. Okay. Um, what we do... Knife stun fisk. The knife fisk. Ice, ice, baby. Fine. Yeah, so we go for the Sneasel. Alright. So, we go for Sneasel, then we go for Serena. We switch out... We switch out Boldor and we switch out Eldegoss. No, not Baby Doll Eyes. We switch out Eldegoss and we switch out the... Uh... Whims uh, not Whimsicott, Eldegoss. So, we switch out Boldor for Sneasel, and then we switch out Eldegoss for Serena. We will destroy the Dub Wolf. We will destroy Dub Wolf. Um, don't use status moves, just go for attacking moves. Like, with the Eldegoss, it does no damage in general. The reason I'm using... Uh, curse on this thing is I can't really do much damage and this thing has fluffy. But if Eldegoss goes for like Leaf Storm, it actually can do some decent damage. Let's see what it says. No, Jade. No. No. No, Jade. Bad Jade. Bad Jade. That's not how that works, Jade. It's not how that works, Jade. You know, aggressive is not good. Oh, okay, of course it was crit. Of course it was a freaking crit. Yes, you you can do that to Sly. You can do that to Sly. But also, this joke has gone on too long. Joke is over, alright? If I see any more of that joke going on, I am going to be starting to actually seriously time stuff out for longer. The joke was funny for a while, but now, joke end. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how much longer. We're probably actually going to go maybe about two more Dynamax adventures, and then we're going to end off. I'm probably going to go for some Ogre Ousting again later tonight, or maybe some more Lugia hunting. I don't know yet. Um, I, even I don't know what's going on anymore. 
I have absolutely no clue what's even happening anymore, Jade. I'm slowly losing control of everything. That's just the end of what we do here. We just lose control of everything. And don't forget to subscribe for more. Leave a like on the stream feed if you haven't done so already. Because you guys are the wonderful people that keep all of this going. Yeah, then we're gonna go do, do gonna do two more DAs after this, and then we go into raid. Possibly later tonight, we either continue our X and Y playthrough, or we continue the Lugia shiny hunt. I don't know yet. I really hope it is not Zygarde. I really hope it is not Zygarde. Actually, it was good we switched out the Elder Goss there. Alright. Now. We switch out Bulldore. For the Sneasel. Hello there, Christopher Johnson Jr. No, we ban all kinds of Sly, we can't really do merch. Merch is uh, not really something we have the capabilities of doing yet. Maybe someday. Maybe, maybe someday. Maybe someday the Banner Defense match is done. I don't know yet. We're really figuring it out. Yeah, this this is gonna be easy because you guys have all fighting type moves. The two of you have body press, and the other one's got freaking power up punch. I don't need to do literally anything here. Um, I guess happy birthday to Christopher Johnson Senior. I guess happy birthday. Can I guess live mission to close? No! No, Jade! That is that is a no, Jade. No! That is that is a very no. I swear, watch this. Watch this be a freaking Palkia raid. I watch this be a Palkia raid. Dio, I said before that j that whole joke is done. We are done with that. I, I have no clue what you mean on that. I don't know what you mean by that, the one we're trying to get most. I mean, if it's Zygarde, I honestly don't... I don't have as much of an issue if we don't have Zygarde. Again, we switch out the Boldor here. Oh, what shiny Pokemon we're going with? Well, we're going for every shiny Pokemon. You know, the... We're doing the living shiny decks and specifically going... Then we go for the Sarina, and then we switch out the double for the Sarina. Yeah, if, it, if it's Zygarde, I mean, it would figure if it's freaking Zygarde. Oh, good, we had berries, which got a little bit of health back. That's fine. That's good. That's a little, little bit helpful to us. That's a little bit helpful to us. Okay. Um, we should be okay. We should, we should be fine. But yeah, we switch out uh, Dub Wolf for this because Dub Wolf is not good. Not fantastic, but we should be okay. I mean, anyone can Dynamax, just Dynamax. And the hail is not great for us. But it will give us more flexibility to figure out what we go fight against when it comes to what this is. 
I, I do not have any food, Jade. Just go out and consume photosynthesis. Consume the photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Or go drink water. Water is good. Hydrate or dehydrate, friends. Drink water, Volnadal, if you're on ice. Location of the fridge. Sure, Jade. Sure. That did a lot more damage than I would have thought. To the Serena, because the Serena's like, actually got a decent amount of bulk. Okay, cat, stop spamming the emotes. Eat steak and lobster. Well, that was what we had a few days ago, Jade. There's uh, no more remaining of that. No more of that remains. Oh, we're good. He's Roma there. That is literally nothing. That literally does absolutely nothing to us. His aromatherapy does not cure curse, but I'm not going to use curse again. That's just Shadow Claw. What if I manifest? I mean, if you if you if you manifest it, I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with the manifest. Uh, dreams. I recommend refreshing the stream if you're having lag issues. Yeah. If if you're ever having like lag, I think like buffering, just refresh the stream and that will fix it. Also, if you're noticing you're behind a little bit, just, again, refresh and that should fix it. Oh, that was actually a faster match than I thought it was. Good. Now again, we switch out Dub Wool for this. We switch out Dub Wool for Sarina. Oh, nothing much. Anyway, going back about the people being bad at baseball. Yeah, again, I mean, I have zero skill when it comes to just sports, which is why I don't play them. I have zero sports skills. I don't play sport ball. Okay, I was thought I was going to sneeze, but I did not. Okay, let's see what we're fighting. Depending on what we're fighting is showing how screwed we are or how uh, lucky we are. Please do not be Zygarde. Actually, I mean, Zygarde probably would be okay for us to fight. Oh, look, it's a, it's a Kyrem. Okay, we get a rematch with this clown. Um, I'm... I don't hate our odds. I don't hate our odds. The question is, what is better? The question is, what is better? Is my Max Phantasm? It depends on like the speed stats of everything. Okay, Mimikyu. Okay, Sneasel, yeah. Um, in that case... No. No, just go Shadow Claw. We just let the other Hitman Shadow Dynamax. Slightly discount Owen Wolves and get that. Alright, guys. Enough on this. Guys, enough. Yeah, not great. The one time it actually was better to keep double. One time double was actually the better pick, unfortunately. Go Shadow Claw again. Yeah, we let the Hitmonchan Dynamax. We let the Hitmonchan Dynamax and see where it goes. Alright. Yeah, I did tell them to stop, all right? All right. All right. We should be okay. We... Oh, 
Well, then again, they didn't really use that on the anything, so that's fine. Okay. Okay, we, we should be okay-ish, hopefully. Hopefully. And again, don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't done so already. We are close to our present goal of 3,500. You're 11 away. Okay. Yeah, may, may have been better to go for... May have been better to go... For max Phantasm for defense drops. But we don't know... Hello there, Panda. How are you doing? How are you doing well? Hope you're doing well. Okay, what do we do now? Wait, I just thought of something. I could use baby doll eyes. That would drop Sneels... Well, then again, no, that would... No, that, that wouldn't work with Lash Out. That wouldn't work with Lash Out, now that I think about it. So yeah, no, that probably was, that was the... I'm glad I didn't do that, because that would have been a stupid idea. Hopefully next turn we... Uh, yeah, next turn we should be able to take this thing down. Of course, a freaking slivers. Freaking sliver. But I think we'd beat this thing... Oh, well, that knocks me out. But yeah, next turn it gets knocked out. That's fine. Good shiny hunting random thing. Yeah, we are. I mean, we're shiny hunting random things. Why is my hair less? You don't you have the Chairman Rose hairstyle? I mean, I like the Chairman Rose hair. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's okay enough. Communicating. I mean, I, there's literally... N oh, I Ow. I don't know. Mm hmm. Hair does weird things from time to time. I see a shiny score bunny even now, but you know what? Nice! I mean, you can bring a shiny score bunny from Scarlet Violet back into uh, Sword and Shield. So if you want to give a shiny score bunny in Scarlet Violet a ribbon of sorts, you know, any kind of ribbon from, Scar from Sword and Shield, you actually can just import it back in and then evolve it and everything. So sticky. Yeah, you just use Pokemon Home. It's the same way with Duraludon. Because the same thing actually happens with um, Legends Arceus. You know, if you have something that's in any of those games, you can just basically rotate around which game. It's kind of fun. That's how I actually filled out a lot of my Pokedex for uh, some of those games is just moving stuff from one game to the other. Let's go. We beat the Durgaron. And that is what we call a takedown of this thing. Very, very good. Let's see if we get any shinies. Let's see if we get any sparkles for this thing. Hope we get it. No shiny double. No shiny Sneasel. No shiny Serena. No shiny Kyrem. Doesn't exist. Does not exist. Yet. No. I'm saving that Raikou for the... Again, unless we get a Tornadus. No, we are not going for Zogalio. Alright. Why did Shiny Kyrem... I kind of like Shiny Kyrem. Again, there's a lot of Shinies that they don't change too much from their base color scheme that I do really like. You know, some some of them I think like they still do look pretty good. It's just the slight changes really make it good. All right, code is live. If you want to pop in, feel free to join. Bum bum bum. Nope, no shinies. Cuz shinies don't exist. They simply do not. They refuse to make themselves known. But yeah, we might do some more stuff later tonight. Kidney donor Persian is still a name. Oh, yeah, that Persian. Uh, that Persian. I forget about that, but that, 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 that makes me just chuckle. That makes me chuckle from time to time. All right. 
You want to pop in again, Jade? Feel free to join. You can ask one piece, but it gives them about one piece. Oh boy. Well then. Uh, will, will you be asking that to Mudkip before or after your next rand bat? Alright. Yeah, that'll, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, though, though the rest of the rainbow. So, how many more Ultra Beasts do you need to sweep Mudkip with? Uh, Bisharp is very good. Bisharp is a very good Pokemon. We always gotta go for the stun fist. We always gotta have a stun fist on the team if we can, unless it's actively detrimental. It is. It is this. Ooh, Valplume. Very good Valplume. Now the Valplume was a good pick, but as mentioned before, wait before picking. Wait before picking, so we can look over all the options. All right. Um, I think we do as we go Escavali... Wait, Escavali? Yes, we go to the Lampent. Then we go Escavalier. Then we go for the Drapion. So. It's all good. It's all good. All right. So, what we do is we have Vile Plume switch out and take this. Because Vile Plume can't really do anything to the Escavalier. But this absolutely throttles the Escavalier. So yeah, so we have this. We just destroy the Escavalier with this. Then we have the Escavalier switch out for the Lamp Bent. And then we switch out Stunfisk for Drapion. Yes, that is the the better play of doing things. I need to rename so many shinies. See, good, good, good. Use it on me, then I just use a water move on you. That's for fun. The fact I am slower than a lamp end is kind of surprising, but also kind of not, because it's a freaking Araquanid. Araquanid's speed just does not exist. This thing is so super freaking slow. Oh, nice, Muddy Water. That's fun. That's fun. And the accuracy drop. Nice. Again, if you guys haven't done so already, do not forget to subscribe for more. And leave a like on the stream. I mean, we can just do the exclamation mark Discord. That gives a link to the Discord. Hmm. Good Night Slash. Very, very good Night Slash. Jade, I do not understand what that GIF you sent is. Please explain. Switch out Vile Plume for Lampant. Switch Vile Plume out for Lampant. And then we switch out. When it comes to Psychic Dives, I have no idea. I have no idea when it comes to psychic types because there's so many of them. A lot like dragon. Psychic is the most numerous of typings when it comes to legendaries. The reason why I want to go for the uh, Scavalier instead of the Rotom is Rotom is absolutely frail, and the Scavalier actually just does decently well against most all of them. Cool names like Megabyte, Shiny Portagon, and Coliosis. <laughs> And then there's just a bug. There is bug. Yes, 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 yes. There's just so many of them. There's like 
There is, there's Mewtwo. There is Lugia. There's Mewtwo, there's Lugia. There is Latios, Latias. There is the Lake the Lake Trio in Generation 4. There's Cresselia. Solgaleo, Lunala, Necrozma. I believe that as well. And Tapu Lele. Because there's none in Generation 6. Yeah. There may be more dra Yeah, I think it's actually fairly I think it's fairly close. Fairly, fairly close things. Um, it's in the, the chat. The Discord link is in the chat. Mark Discord. That should drop a link to the Discord. And again, don't forget to subscribe for more, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm. That's okay. Um, I don't use status moves. Just go for attacks. Just use fire type moves. I do not understand any. I don't understand what that means, Jade. I don't understand it. Yeah, just go for attacking moves. There's, do not go for status moves unless otherwise specified to go for status moves. I don't understand it, Jade. I don't. Remember, I'm a smooth brain. My brain is incredibly smooth. The smoothest there is. No wrinkles or bumps or valleys or lumps. Everything slides off like a water slide. Fifth. Stunfisk amuses us. Our Lord and Savior is Stunfisk. Our Lord and Savior is Stunfisk. Yeah, the reason I want just to go for attacking moves is just go for Burning Jealousy. Do not go for Inferno. Do not go... Oh, it's a metronome team. That is why just go for attacking moves. Do not... Do not go for water move. Guys. There is one rule in Dynamax Adventure that is follow the instructions. Like, th there's a reason I say to use certain moves. It is specifically because it is to make the Dynamax Adventures go by fast. Cat. Stop spamming. All right. Now, switch out Lampent for a Scavalier. You're spamming. We have said before to stop repeatedly spamming things. Again, switch out the Lampent for the Scavalier. I don't play Fortnite, so I have no idea to comment. I said to switch out the Lampent, not the Stunfisk. Dream. Huh? 
I said to not switch out the Stun Fisk until we got to the Drapion. People not following instructions, that's what's happening, Jade. The one rule of DAs. Alright, this is going to be the last online DA. After this, we're just going to go solo one. Okay. Let's go liquid look, look I'm not going to use lunge because this thing's lash out. Again, the one rule of Dynamax Adventures is follow the instructions. If the instructions cannot be followed, we will just not do Dynamax Adventures. I do this to interact with you guys. And have fun with you guys. If that cannot be followed, we are just going to soft reset for them. We're just going to resolve this back in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Is that understood? No, it's okay, Wilkin. That you did nothing wrong. You did nothing wrong. You did exactly as I asked. The reason I wanted to keep the Stun Fisk is because the Bisharp has Metal Sound, which would have decreased its special defense, so Earth Power from Stun Fisk would have done more damage. That is the reason why we have the reason, that is the reason we have the rule of listen to the instructions. And again, if that cannot be followed, we will just not do Dynamax Adventures with viewers. Is that understood? I do not like taking this tone. I like keeping things quippy and fun. But if people do not listen, then we need to do this. Now, we switch the Lampent out for the Drapion. Okay. Oh, we got someone else. We're going to add to the list of people who don't do DAs. Yep. Yep. That is exactly what is going to happen, Jade. Oh, great. It's going to be Okay. 
Hello there, welcome in. Uh, Guillermo... I have no idea how to pronounce the last name, but welcome in. Hello. Hello there, Xander. Thank you very much. I certainly hope I can. I, I certainly hope we can do this. But do not forget to subscribe, ladies and gentlemen, if you have not done so already. Thank you. It does mean a lot. Thank you. It is 112 random encounters, not 112 random encounter legendaries. It is every single Dynamax adventure encounter we have done so far. It just, it just it's it's for random encounters. Yeah. Yeah, special events actually does help me a little bit. Burn jail. Yeah, that actually was the that's the best move to use on this thing to decrease its special attack. Thankfully this thing doesn't really have great offensive stats, so we can don't we don't really have to worry about going down to a hit from Lugia. But we don't need to worry to... Well, the big issue is that this the clock stall. Also that. Thankfully, I mean, I mean, it does activate Lash Out's effect. But all of us are physical attackers, other than the Lamp End. But Lamp End doesn't do any damage because it's all special bulk. Not gonna be good. Wait, you you know Spanish, Jade? How do I not know this until now? Thank you very much for that, Jade. Thank you, thank you very much for the the the, the little the little translation thingy. Thank you. Yeah, I I, I, I don't know Spanish. I uh, I only know English. Thank you very much, whoever subscribed. Thank you very much. Whirl. 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 I ah uh, use translate. However, it can't speak. Ah, yeah. I I know literally no Spanish. I took French. I took French. Hey, thank you very much, whoever else subscribed. Thank you. We are now ten away. From the sub goal. Well, thank you very much, Xander. Thank you very much. Yeah, we are we are getting close to that that sub goal. Yeah, the goal is to try and get to th uh, 7k by the end of the year. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Charlie Boy. Son. Thank you very much. Oh, shiny uh, Kyogre. I actually have one of those. One of the first shinies I ever got. We had a Spanish test in school today. I may or may not have aced. We weren't using Translate. Nice. Yeah, first shiny I ever got. Well, shiny the shiny Kyogre was the first shiny I did a dedicated shiny hunt for. Other than that, the shinies that I had were all accidents. Ugh. That's a lot of damage. Getting rid of that special attack drop was not good. Again, this is... The, Lugia is not hard. Lugia is just all bulk. And with... And... And... With Wormwind, it covers up the only low... Only low defense stat. It's, I mean, it's, its physical defense is still absolutely titanic. You know, all things considered. We ran him. Nice! Yeah, I mean, that's just how things go sometimes. Sometimes you do get, you know, those random shinies like that. That was actually how I got my first shiny. A shiny Beldum. I was just breeding for a competitive one with the right nature. I... Because it's easier to get Beldum... It is easier to get Beldum with different natures back in Ultra Moon by simply breeding rather than go and use the synchronized trick. And hope to catch one, because Valdem has such a stupid catch rate. So I basically just threw my Metagross and a Ditto in the daycare. It was not a Masuda Ditto. And I did not have the Shining Charm. 
So I threw those in the daycare together and just started hatching eggs. Hoping to get the one with the right nature. First egg. Wrong nature. Not shiny. Second egg. Shiny with the right nature. Yeah. And that was the first shiny I ever caught. First shiny I ever found was a shiny onyx, like, over a decade before then, and that knocked out my entire team. Yeah. That was, uh, not, not a good time. Oh, nice. Shiny... Mudkip in go. Fun. Alright, no shiny Lampent. No shiny Escavalier. No shiny Drapion. You gotta do something real quick. Not taking the Lugia with us. Thank you very much. Um, after that, I went to Arceus and got all those. Nice! Shiny Arceus, fun. Oh, we're getting raided. Hey, welcome in 501st. Hello there, Leighton Lewis. How are you guys doing? Ah, uh, we are not getting Lugia for that. Gaze off. No. Thank you very much, 501st. Welcome in, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Hello, the Chaos Royale. Rene W. Uh, Leighton Lewin, Webo first. Thank you very much, Jade, for grabbing the link. If you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe for more. Leave a like on the stream. And, uh, how are you doing 501 first? How did your stream go today? This is gonna be our final Dynamax adventure of the day. If you would like to join, feel free to pop in. The only rule of the Dynamax adventures is to listen to the instructions. Or is there no shiny? Ah. I mean, that's how things go. We have not gotten any shiny yet today either, so I very much feel you on that. Very much feel you on that. Better shiny Mew or Jirachi? I mean, I like Jirachi more. Hello there, the gaming nanny. How are you doing? And again, please don't forget to subscribe for more. We'll leave a like on the stream. Again, the one rule is follow the instructions. I know a lot about battling, and the reason we give the instructions is to get through Dynamax Avengers as quickly as possible. But, uh, what were you shiny hunting today? If you don't mind my asking. Uh, what game, what are the odds? Hope you get it soon, because we've had a couple of hunts that are going over odds. Our shiny Latias hunt is well over double odds, and still no shiny Latias. Even though we've gotten 17 shiny phases. <laughs> the deal for Drunk Jackbox is 10k by the end of the year. That is that is the Drunken Jackbox stream. Hold on, let's go Eevee. Ooh, fun. Very it sounds very fun, Jade. So when does the shiny mole trace show up if it's shiny? Five five years over odds. Wait. So you've been hunting that thing for five years? Hmm? C confusion. Wow. You've been hunting... I mean, that, that makes my shiny ho-ho hunt look not horrible. 7 times over odds. Year and a half of shiny hunting that thing. It would show up once you... Okay. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with Legendary Soft resetting on Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, so I don't actually know where the shiny pops up on that. I don't know if you need to catch it and then it goes shiny, 
Or if you know it pops into the catch thing. Interesting. All right, let's go. All right. Ooh, I want that little Marowak. Little Marowak. Ooh, Lanoon. Lanoon is very good. Lanoon, very, 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 very good. Yeah, uh, Moltres is the only shiny of the three birds I don't have. I'll go for the Lanoon. If... Well, then again, I'm probably going to round out yeah, I've got a lot of shinies in Scarlet and Violet. I've got about... Well, actually, i got over 600 shinies in that game. So, yes, I, I was like, ooh, fairy. Okay, this is very good. Okay, then, we want to get rid of that Lanoon as soon as possible. Ooh. Okay, in that case, we go for the Leyron. We go Subtile, Diggersby, and then we go for the Leyron. Well, it's kind of often. Ah, fair enough. I mean, that's the thing about Shiny Hunters. It's just... Uh, I mean, we also did a lot of Shiny Hunting streams in Scarlet Violet. That's stream oh my is, is Moltres affected by Shiny Odds? I mean, is, is, do you have the shiny charm and is Moltres affected by Charmons? The reason why we say bear in Germanic language is... The reason why we say bear is because early Germanic languages didn't want to say its name. Really? Did not know that. Interesting. Hello there, 321 Action. How are you doing? Really? They, they are affected by the shiny charm? I thought they weren't affected by the charm. Interesting. But hello there, three, two, one, action figures. That is a name. Favorite shiny I've gotten. Tie between either Skeletors or Roaring Moon. I love both of them. I love both of them. Oh, they, they had to pick. They had to pick up the Seismitoad. Bonk. Yeah, there's no need to go for a Dynamax against this thing. It's just absolutely game-ended anyway. Also, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you guys haven't done so already. You guys are the ones that keep everything going around here. Oh, nice. Got a confusion. Throat chop. I would not mind a Shiny Galarian, Mr. Mime. I still need one of you. Oh, plus the original word it turned out to be Latin Greek word for bear. Interesting. Interesting. Languages are fascinating. Probably Roaring Moon. Yeah, I mean, I, I love I love both of them. I mean, Roaring Moon is just simply my favorite Pokemon in Paul. The Greek word for bear is where we got Arctic. I mean, that math does check out. You know, bears are really hard. Uh, Ra Raging Bolt is not available as a shiny. That is shiny lock. But hello there, Dark Dust. Welcome back. God, that size of my toad. Just, I hate that size of my toad. Uh, no, do not switch. Do not switch. Switch out the Lanoon when we get to the Leyron. Um... I do, I, I do not like that. I do not like the matchup against the Golduck. I think it would be better if we go for the Charmeleon. Actually, see, uh, Macho, switch out with the NPC. See if, uh, see if we get anything useful here. Okay. Not great, but not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. Um. Dynamax and use the ghost move. First turn. Dynamax and use the ghost move first turn. After that, go for uh, the Dynamax normal move. 
Bug is the worst type, but has more weaknesses than counters. Yeah, it's weak, very good. I would not agree on that. I would say Bug is actually one of the stronger typings. Mostly because there's actually a lot of very strong Bug type options. You got, like, when you mention Bug types, there's a lot of good Bug types, like there's Volcarona, Scavalier. There is Scizor, Araquanid, Golisopod, Rabombi. A lot of very, very, very strong Bug types. Favorite shiny starter first stage. It might be a bit normy, but I do like shiny Mudkip. I do love the color purple. Is there any linguistics with being able to work on the Lizzie on the board and invent new languages? Interesting. You crashed. In yeah, that's not good. Yeah, I remember just I recommend just refreshing the page if it crashes out. That's not good. Uh, my hair across, make a beat on others. Well, no, not Megas. Megas are kind of an outside of context problem because every Mega Evolution is designed to be broken as well as Megas do not exist in the present game. Mega Megas do not exist in Modern Night. Um, favorite final stage? Shiny? Hard pick. Um, hard pick. Probably. That, that's a good question. I'd like a lot of them. I was talking about Pokemon Go and Unite. Oh. Well, the thing is, Unite and Go work very, very differently than the main games do. They they work very, very, very differently. Blade of the Grass, Camp was banished, where thank you, Grass. The presence commonly trimmed along with the Spanish elite and eventually became Grass. All false. Yeah, Blarb, I would not rec- Yeah, Blarb, I wouldn't do that. That's- don't, don't do that. You know, it... I don't, don't... Basically trick people or something like that. Do not do that. Yeah, it... it go and Unite basically don't even have type effectiveness as a major component. It is, let's make the fan favorites broken. That's kind of something about those games. One of the reasons I kind of stopped playing Go and Unite is just it did eventually devolve into pure fan service. So time is Rayquaza. Oh, nice. My favorite shiny of all time, my favorite shiny one, is Gigalith. Go for the Leyron. Yeah, mainly Unite more than Go. I mean, Go does have a type effectiveness system in it. But Unite doesn't. And, like, Unite is basically just fan service at this point. Well, that and... Money baiting. That, that, one of the reasons why, I mean, I, one of the reasons I stopped playing Unite was... This, it was when they released Mew. And it was like, okay, I remember what happened last time when they released Zoroark and when they released, like, Scyther. They had it be, like, insanely good. And then, for like a week. And then, right when it became available for everyone else, they hard nerfed it. And it was like, Really? You, you have this thing be absolutely insane for just a week when the only people who can use it are those that actually spend, like, IRL money. And then you immediately nerf it right after. That, that kind of is something that, like, after that part, is like, okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna support this game anymore. Because they've done it a couple of times... But then when they released Mew, and Mew was absolutely insane, I was like, okay, the same thing is going to happen again. What do you want? One of the reasons I don't... One of the reasons I do not... 
buy the stuff in Unite, because one, I knew that they would just nerf it eventually, there's no point in buying it. Yeah, that's the best way to play Unite, is just literally to not spend money on it. The problem is, a lot of the stuff in Unite is deliberately designed to try to force you to spend money to get things early when they're broken, and then before they nerf it. It was made by totally one of Canadian linguists for thinking cheap and simplicity. Also a language called Tokipana. I remember there was another language someone tried to make, like a universal language, and it never like really worked out. Yeah, it's like that's one of the reasons I stick with the main games is that when it comes to like games like that, they uh, kind of try to force you into getting certain things that you, know, you can't really get otherwise. That's also a friend who's nice. Very nice. I was even piling on 30 hours. Yes. Again, if you guys haven't done so already, do not forget to subscribe, leave a like on the stream. This is the last Dynamax adventure we are going to be doing for today. So let's go find somebody to go raid. I enjoyed Scarlet Violet. Weird, I do a lot of competitive battling, so that kind of helps. Uh, switch out the... Switch out Flareon for Leyron. I would not mind a shiny Leyron, though. I would not mind that. Um, let's go find who's live. Let's go see who is live. Do 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 There we go. Um Alright, depending on what Alright, depending on what this is will determine what we do. Also, thank you very much, whoever subscribed. No shiny day, 100%. Yeah. I wish I got the DLC because I didn't want to make Pokemon. The thing is, you don't need the DLC to have those Pokemon in the game. You can get traded it. Hello, Steelix fan. Fellow fan of the Steel types. Welcome in. Um, alright. It is Lele. Alright. Dynamax the Leyron. Clink Clang, use Shift Gear, turn one. Uh, then, we, then we Dynamax the, uh, the Leyron. Leyron use uh, Steel Roller this turn. Ah, dun dun dun. Um, do you have Pokemon Home? Because you can just bring stuff in from Pokemon Home. Okay, what is that? Oh, have okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, you can bring stuff in from Pokemon Home to get them in. Ah. Hmm. I'd, rec I'd recommend download Pokemon Home, because again, it's, it's free. And if you have, like, Pokemon Go, you can actually, or if Pokemon Go, you also trade in Pokemon Home with the phone app without actually needing Switch Online. Yes, it works on phone. It does work on phone. Yo, someone's shiny hunting the best legendary in existence, shiny Dialga. We're gonna go raid them. Yes, that's the way that I would recommend doing that, and then you could just bring them in to, uh, into your version. Hello there, Ando Crossing. Welcome, man. Thank you very much for popping in, everyone. It means the world. You're gonna go raid Anime Stop Pod. He is shiny hunting Dialga. Which I freaking love that thing. Literally the best legendary in all of existence. We may do another stream later tonight. I have not decided on that yet. Still kind of figuring stuff out. Nice gear grind head. Good, 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 good. Magic room. That's. Oh yeah, magic room is held items. Yeah. 
I remember, funny thing is, as weird of a move as Magic Room may seem, there's a lot of uh, Tapu Lele that actually did used to run Magic Room competitively. Like, if you do run one game odds with you, move it to another room. Yes. Yes. Uh, Pokemon Home is shared between Switch and phone if you use the same Nintendo account. So, yes. It, it will. Yes, that, that is how it works. Alright, that is... Uh, 120 encounters. Hey, Mark15, welcome in. Found you look nice. Thank you very much. I couldn't yesterday. I was at list. Checked my DMs last night. All right. But this was our final DA of the night. I do have some stuff to help do for dinner. So I will be ending off now. We're going to go raid Anime Stop Pod. He is shiny hunting Dialga. No shiny, unfortunately. But let's go raid Anime Stop Pod. Thank you, guys. Well, don't don't go just now. Because a raid is where we end off and we send the love to another creator. Redirect. We can go raid Anime Stop Pod. We can, we can redirect to that, right? Or can we not... We not redirect there. Oh no, we can. We can. We can. We, we can redirect there. All right, good. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a wonderful night, and I will see you either later today or tomorrow. And don't forget to subscribe for more.